Do you ever feel like your skincare just isn't doing it for you? Like it's really not doing what it's supposed to do no matter how many serums you layer on? I used to think the answer was always just get a better product, but here's what I've learned. What you eat plays a huge role in how your skin looks and feels. So instead of just focusing on what goes on your skin, let's talk about also what goes in your body because the right foods can genuinely level up your glow. Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Mamina Tregano, a triple board certified dermatologist, internist, and dermatopathologist. I have been in private practice for 11 years. I've been treating patients for over 16 years and I have a huge passion for how things like our diet and lifestyle make an impact on our skin. And today we're diving into one of my favorite topics, how your diet impacts your skin. So I've seen this firsthand in my patients and in my own life. Food isn't just fuel, it's actual information that it tells to your cells. It influences everything from inflammation to collagen production. So let's break it down. Let's talk about what to eat and what to maybe cut back on to support healthy glowing skin from the inside out. So we all know your skin is your largest organ. It's dynamic, it protects your skin, it's constantly regenerating, and it responds to what's happening internally. We have plenty of research to show that what you eat can influence everything from inflammation to collagen synthesis to wound healing. So we do know that our skin glow does start from within. So let's get into the foundational nutrients that our skin loves and needs. We know that vitamin A can boost skin cell turnover as well as collagen. And so you'll find it in things like salmon, eggs, dairy, carrots, sweet potatoes. And then there's vitamin C, which is something that I think we've all heard, but we know that that can support collagen. It protects your skin from oxidative stress. It enhances hydration in your skin. Examples include things like citrus fruit, strawberries, kiwi, bell peppers actually are a good source of vitamin C, even Brussels sprouts and papaya, guava. Vitamin E is also a key antioxidant that works with vitamin C to maintain barrier function and reduce UV damage. So things with vitamin E, you wanna load up on things like almonds, sunflower seeds, and avocados. Zinc and selenium are minerals that can help regulate inflammation and promote skin healing. Sources include things like oysters, pumpkin seeds, lentils, and Brazil nuts. So we touched a little bit about some of the vitamins that have antioxidant properties, but let's dive a little bit more into other antioxidants. Our skin needs a steady supply of antioxidants to combat oxidative stress, which is from things like UV rays, pollution, poor sleep, poor diet stress. And here are some really great antioxidant options. So we have polyphenols, which are from green tea, dark chocolate, berries, red wine, although I don't recommend alcohol. But polyphenols can reduce inflammation and oxidative stress. Lycopene is found in things like tomatoes and watermelon, and this can also help offer natural UV protection as well as support your collagen in your skin. It definitely doesn't replace sunscreen, but it can help your sunscreen work better. There's also antioxidants like lutein and zeaxanthin. These can protect against blue light and oxidative damage. You can find them in things like leafy greens and egg yolks. And there's beta carotene. So this is the precursor to vitamin A. This supports skin elasticity, vibrancy. You can find it in carrots, sweet potatoes, and squash amongst other foods, of course. There's also EGCG from green tea. This can help with redness, it can soothe the skin, it can also help prevent collagen breakdown. Another important component of our diet is our hydration. So water keeps your body healthy, which keeps your cells functioning better, which then can in turn help your skin cells work better. I find that it's hard sometimes to remember to drink water. So you can also hydrate through foods. Foods like cucumbers, watermelon, oranges, and celery have a good amount of hydration. Another category that's important for skin health are healthy fats. These can help maintain your lipid layer of your skin which keeps moisture in and irritants out. We love omega-3s because they can calm inflammation and support just a very resilient skin barrier. You can find omega-3s in things like fatty fish, walnuts, chia seeds, flax seeds. Algae oil is another like plant-based source of um, omega-3s. When it comes to fats, really try to limit your processed or trans fats. They can ramp up inflammation and even trigger breakouts too. All right, so now let's talk about foods that you may want to avoid or foods that can also cause inflammation in the skin and things like breakouts. We know that foods and drinks that are high in sugar spike insulin. This can then send signals to increase oil production, which then leads to breakouts. But also we know that high sugar foods can 
increase collagen breakdown. Sugar can be inflammatory, so that's one way, but sugar also contributes to this process called advanced glycation end products. When sugar binds to collagen, it causes it to be more like fragile and breakable and causes it to break down faster. AGE, advanced glycation end products good name. We also are not a fan of like highly processed foods and like I said processed fats which I mentioned earlier things that are like in potato chips or fast food or other like processed baked goods these are loaded with like I said a lot of pro-inflammatory fats and like other weird chemical additives that aren't really doing our body good. And then dairy is a food group that may or may not be an issue. We have definitely seen issues with dairy and that being linked to increased acne breakouts. Um, some people can tolerate it just fine but if you do have acne I would consider like dairy alternatives whether it's like almond milk or macadamia nut milk and or coconut milk and just see how your skin responds. Another huge thing is just looking at our overall gut health. We know that a balanced gut microbiome supports inflammation control and nutrient absorption both of which hugely impact our skin. We're fans of probiotics. You can find probiotics in things like yogurt or non-dairy yogurt. Kefir or is it kefir? Kefir miso, kimchi, sauerkraut. Prebiotics are also very important. I feel like more people need to talk about it. We need prebiotics to feed the good bacteria in our gut. This is where fiber comes in to be really important. It's fiber is so helpful for everything, but definitely for your skin. Fiber rich foods are really good prebiotic sources. So things like garlic, onions, bananas, oats, asparagus, these can all help feed your good bacteria. If you are good at feeding your gut, then your skin will thrive and do better. So overall, what does a skin friendly diet look like? I tell patients, eat a rainbow. The more colorful your plate, the more diverse your nutrients and your antioxidants. And you will more likely also have fiber in that because you're including different like fruits and vegetables. And then of course, hydration is super important for your body to function better so then your cells function better. In terms of how much water to drink, I feel like there's so many different rules. Some people say drink half your body weight in ounces or like some people say drink eight cups of water a day. Some people say just like, Make sure you drink enough to see that your urine is clear and not like very dark and yellow. Remember to cut back on sugar and processed foods. We know that they age the skin and just throw everything out of balance. The other thing I also recommend cutting back and not really consuming at all is alcohol. I mentioned that resveratrol is high in red wine, but honestly, like we know that alcohol dehydrating the skin, it's causing inflammation in our bodies. We're seeing more and more issues with it. So, I mean, obviously people want to drink for like special occasions and whatnot but I would consider minimizing it. And then if you haven't tried, you may want to experiment with eliminating dairy from your diet. Some people's skin may improve when they switch to non-dairy options. And then support your gut, daily fiber and fermented foods help reduce inflammation from the inside out. So all in all, you know, I love me some good skincare products. They work, they're great, I love them, but glowing skin really starts with how you nourish yourself. Think of food as part of your skincare routine. If this video resonated with you, check out my other video on skin aging and what actually works backed by science. I'll link it in the description below. Thank you so much for being here. If you enjoyed this video, throw a like, give a follow. I appreciate all the support. See you on the next one.